How can a recovering behavioral addict build resilience? You build up your resilience by, first of all, having the mindset that this is not about doing it. It's not an event. It's not a single, I'm going to do it once and it's going to be there. This is, uh, resilience should, uh, comes out of rather a, a, a model of, I'm going to probably relapse. I'm probably not going to do it perfectly, and that's okay. And that I need to understand that when I when I fall, when I relapse, or when I lapse, I'm going to pick myself up, get on the horse again, and do it again. That it's a long-term process, and the key issue is, of course, looking to gain as much as I can from a relapse, looking to see what I did wrong within the relapse that caused the relapse so I don't do it again. And and of course, taking a, a, a sense of optimism out of every relapse rather than shaming yourself or blaming yourself and sort of saying, I can't do it, but realizing that it is about this this resilience or, or springing back and trying again and again and again. These are like, uh, many recovery programs could be even conceptualized as, as the acquisition of like, like an advanced sport, like tennis or golf or something where, you know, you're, you know, you can learn the rules of recovery in about a few minutes or, or golf in a few minutes, but it takes a lot of buckets of balls to really get good at it. And if you conceptualize it as nothing more than an advanced skill like golf, tennis, whatever it be, you, you'll, you have the right mindset to acquire that resilience and that it's important to come back and do it again and come back and do it again. It's never going to be a single event. It's going to be a process and, and have fun with it even to, to, to have the, the resilience that we were, would all hope for.